Lord of the Rings Online, the 20 something year old MMORPG, just did something amazing. A death night is never late. Lord of the Rings Online just did something major that, to my understanding, has never been done before okay. in an MMORPG. Yes. That old as dirt MMO, Lord of the Rings Online, it's still going to this day. It's still releasing expansions. It's still innovating, making new. That's the craziest part. No one plays this, but they're still pumping out expansions time to time. Like, how is this possible? Oh, by the way, also, this 20 year old game has one of the biggest maps in game history, by the way. It, it, it still outclasses most games in map size content and today you're gonna learn about one of lord of the rings online's newest features that came out with its latest expansion before the shadow a feature that will hopefully change mmorpgs going forward forever okay so before we talk about what exactly lord of the rings online did we do need to establish a little bit of context real fast All right, okay then keep your secrets. many modern day mmos have an absolutely hey look at that that's world of warcraft i know that one massive issue that nobody seems to want to address specifically uh 40 a lot per communities i'm guessing that's gonna be the question but people want to address that we need to talk about that long neglected abuse and frankly sometimes spit Almost upon stash. element of the mmo the early game if you're a new player to an mmo that's been around for a little bit or if you're just somebody that really enjoys leveling in mmorpgs okay. you're kind of screwed these days most mmo companies have thought it prudent to just leave their early game experience as simple and straightforward as possible abandoning yeah. them entirely in favor of focusing on the end game most expansions for MMOs will have very little to do with the early game experience, questing, professions, low-level dungeons, whatever. All True. the focus and the emphasis is always put on making the veteran players happy, not addressing the needs of the newcomer to the MMO. True, whenever there's an expansion in a game, you know that there's going to be some end-game system, but chances are that the early game, the everything of that has not been touched for years. Or to the person that just wants to level a new character. This, of course, leads to new players trying out these sorts of MMOs, giving them a shot, and then being severely disappointed with how lifeless and dull the world can feel. Early game doldrums hmm. have been an issue in modern MMOs for so long that even games like World of Warcraft, which has a notorious... I mean, when I'm out there in Mulgore, well, no, not in Mulgore, but the Valley of Honor, and I'm collecting my 10 cactus apples, I honestly don't want 10 other people collecting those cactus apples in front of me, because that doesn't make me feel special, okay? I want to be the only one that collects the cactus apples bad early game experience for new players and veteran players alike they even offer a cash shop incentive for you to just pay $60 and just skip the whole thing entirely True. maybe it's a good business model but players often feel cheated by this sort of neglect being present in such a large part of the game now Lord of the Rings Online is an MMO that's been around for a very long time and it has boasted multiple expansions under its belt during its days taking players True. from the steps of the Shire all the way to the fiery doom of Mordor simply walk into Mordor and like with every other MMO that's been around for a while Lord of the Rings Dude, bro look at that that is absolutely wild just look at that oh, wow it's been around for a while Lord of the Rings online has also faced this issue new players of course want a fun and engaging early game experience to delight in and veteran players don't want to be bored running the same content Ooh. over and over again does that sound like you because it certainly sounds like me you know the level up in the early game okay, should be fun okay also, you gotta keep in mind, Lord of the Rings Online is a game that is known primarily for its storytelling, its massive world and roleplay-like content. The developers actually want you to take your time leveling up in the world. They want you to experience the story that they have so painstakingly crafted. It's a very different cool. approach to their MMO compared to game companies like Blizzard and like others who just want you to rush through all that content as fast as possible and get to the latest expansion.
So here's the question. How do you fix this problem? How do you make the early game experience fun for new players without making it overwhelming, enjoyable mm. for veteran players, and just make it overall a really good and fun and memorable time? Well, with That's a good question. I never thought that we actually had to ask it, but that's a good question. I mean, I'm not exactly complaining about the leveling too much in World of Warcraft. If we ignore the fact that when I was leveling my rogue, for some reason I was stuck with a, a grey dagger until I hit max level cap. Because for some stupid reason, not a single dungeon, not a single quest offered me a dagger as a reward. And that made my life extremely, extremely miserable. And after that, I finally got my stupid dagger and I could play like a human. Until then it was miserable. And by the way, when I'm saying I could play like a human, turns out that it was literally no difference. Turns out the difference between using a level 1 dagger when you're level 60 and using a level 60 dagger is roughly 10% damage. Yeah, I know it sounds unbelievable, but that is true. Which is the stupidest thing I have ever seen in any game ever, honestly. But that's Blizzard quality for you and balancing. Lord of the Rings Online's newest expansion before the Shadow, they tried something new, and it has brought a lot of attention to the game and has been bringing players back to Middle-earth in droves. And let me explain as to why. So this new expansion just brought to the game two new zones for people to explore, new quests to do, dungeon experiences, and okay. a whole lot more. But there's one thing that before the Shadow brought to the game that has gotten the most attention, and it is sexy transmogs I, I i think that's gonna bring attention it's called the adventure system let okay. me explain when you make a new character in lord of the rings online after you create them and go through the little tutorial you can approach a specific npc just outside of the new town of moss ward he's standing just outside the okay. city gate now if you talk to this npc he sells to you some very peculiar items he sells to crack you everything from potions to even new emotes that you can buy and use on your character the only problem huh. is how do you buy this stuff well it Crazy. takes a special currency and the only way to earn this currency is by participating in what's called the adventure mode no, wait we do not want any adventures here adventure mode is a system that has multiple tiers to choose from ranging from simple adventurous all the way to heroic. And what happens is when you choose one of these options, the entire world is going to scale up in difficulty for you and your questing experience. This means okay. that enemies are now gonna take less damage. They'll use special abilities like gaining the power to shield themselves. They can lay down traps and a whole lot more. Okay. Those formerly simple and easy to kill mobs, you shoot them like two or three times and they're dead. It ain't like Dude, the Star Wars experience is crazy. <laughs> I mean, the SWOTOR experience was crazy, uh, just one-shotting things. It was like, in Anarchy Online, when you started at New Island and you did the first quest for, you know, uh, your heal uh, med kits and whatnot, it, it was like, just you stand there, you have Bind at the attack, and you're just tabbing and just, you know, clicking attack, and BAM! You're just shooting left, right, and center, and first quest complete what a time to be alive that no more the world suddenly becomes dangerous and scary and by doing this by choosing higher levels of difficulty to level in the world with you will get rewarded with bonus experience points and virtue experience cool. and this amount that you get increases with every higher tier of difficulty now I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, man, you know, I've been playing MMOs for a while. I'm just gonna ramp it up to the highest difficulty, go out and quest in the world. I know what I'm doing. I suppose you think that was terribly clever. If you do this, be Probably ready, because you're gonna get two shot by the tiny piglet outside of town. Yo. Oh, you have chosen death. You wow. That's a little bit extreme. I feel that that would be something that people would, uh, complain about a lot honestly you're gonna quickly realize that this super high level adventure tier of difficulty is impossible to do on your own and wait so you need to make raid parties to kill piglets 
Sounds pretty good, honestly, if I think about it. And that's the point. You are going to need a group a fellowship in lord of the rings online you are oh, gonna wow. have to group up with i mean i want to group up with her so things happen that hopefully lead the children your friends take care of each other and you will be going throughout the world together desperately trying to survive and guess what everybody's gonna benefit from it because everyone's gonna get those experience bonuses you really are gonna go okay. on a dangerous unexpected journey together no. or if you don't have friends you can do a lower level difficulty that's still manageable okay. as a solo player that's fine let's put it this way me and my friends have been checking this out we're even talking about doing an entire leveling series in lord do they just need like 15 arrows to kill this wolf and a spear <laughs> i mean Sure, that's a fellowship, but I have I, I, I have a hunch that they're not exactly going to conquer Mordor at this rate, okay? They're going places, but not Mordor. Lord of the Rings Online, together as a group, something I've never done on this channel before. The whole world suddenly feels like a dungeon. That little, like, outpost cool. of bandits suddenly becomes terrifying you need to lay down traps use crowd control use the terrain to your advantage or you are going to die throw on top of that a little bit of hardcore action where if you die you delete the character death equals the right and you've got a grand okay. good time Suddenly, the questing becomes more rewarding because you're doing it with your friends. Suddenly, the gear that you get becomes more impactful because it actually helps you out in the open world and has a real difference in your survivability in the world. You I guess actually, yeah, that's a that's a good that's a good point I never considered because why does uh, World of Warcraft classic gear feel just so big and so meaningful even if you're just getting something with plus one agility from uh from one agil plus one agility on something to plus two agility on something every single player sees that drop and it's like oh my god plus one agility the heavens have finally graced my my, my virtue even though we all know that's not such a big difference well it's because it's you, you don't just one shot mobs it's actually a battle it's actually you know kind of challenging if chances are in classic if you're playing two mobs are gonna kill you a cave is gonna probably kill you those damn caves they have an agenda i'm just telling you boys they have an agenda and you know in retail that doesn't happen in retail you're just you know farming 20 30 things at a time and saying yolo 420 blaze it who honestly cares look at me i'm pretending to be a bot and but you know and i think this stems from the fact that you know while maybe it's not the hardest, it's not like an actual challenge challenge to kill a basic mob of your level. But it's not like instant, you know, there is an associate danger. Can't just turn your brain off anymore. It feels like a proper adventure. And this is a brand new system that Lord of the Rings Online has just introduced that they haven't even fully expanded on yet. Maybe right now, yeah, you can earn some emotes and level up pretty quick and have a really good time and get some extra little perks here and there. But in the Sounds future, good. who knows what they could do with this system? Imagine if other MMOs did something like this. Imagine if games like World of Warcraft, Elder Scrolls Online, Star Wars The Old Republic... I don't know if I want that in the world of Warcraft, honestly, because I don't want a group for those degenerates that play that game, okay? If you're playing World of Warcraft, you know which way the wind is blowing, and that that's not the right direction you want to be going into, but you're kind of forced to. So it is what it is and other big popular MMOs did a system like this where it actually encouraged friends to make alt characters together, to level up, or even if you want to play solo, that's fine. Play solo, but you're going to be going through a much harder, more challenging, and painful world experience than the brand new player that's just came to the game, and he doesn't know what he's doing. Ever since this came out, it has been such a fun, fantastic, and enjoyable system to play with. The only con is the fact that so many people are playing Lord of the Rings Online right now that sometimes during peak time, the servers are lagging because there's too many players on the dang servers. 
Bruh, imagine you're a New World player, and your game is, like, literally fresh from the oven. Amazon Bucks sponsored, you know, literal multi-quadrillion dollar thing. And you're literally getting beat by something that's 20 years old. Well, that must feel bad to be a New World player, boy. You probably chose the wrong game, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe, maybe you should do the Switch and play, uh, play a real game like El Lord of the Rings Online. Just saying. And that's great. <laughs> I love it. The point is, if you're a big fan of MMOs like I am and you want a big breath of fresh air, Lord of the Rings Online is probably where you want to go right now. Because a lot of people are checking it out. A lot of people are trying out the adventure mode. It's just a fun system to do with your friends. You're going to have a lot cool. of laughs because of it. And if you decide to undertake the adventure mode, play it smart. Don't be a fool. <laughs> because otherwise you are going to die. Okay. I recently talked about Lord of the Rings Online and whether or not it was worth playing in 2023. That video is linked on Come your on. screen right now. If you've never given this game a it. shot- Next time I don't see it. Oh, oh, it is there. Okay. I highly recommend it. Dive into Middle Earth, okay. enjoy the storytelling, get into the role play, be a bard and play some custom made music and just have a good time, guys. <laughs> B play some uh, e e Evanes, you know. Bring me back to life, baby. Do do some of the good old stuff. In any case, that's Nixium. Ah, what a time to be alive. What can I say? This was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day. Bye bye.